Hello everyone, in this video I will be talking about my five favorite Funko Pops that I own. Um, yeah, these are just my five favorites. Um, let me know if you uh, agree with any of these choices. Maybe I have no idea what's the best because I don't own the best ones. But out of my collection, I think these are the best five. Um, and if you'd like, in the comments, you could also say what your five favorites are. Or... So yeah, uh, let's see here. So... Um, I do have these in a certain order, but it's not like what you think. It's not like, oh, he's the best. She's the worst. No, it's it's kind of random, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you which is my number one favorite at the end. Um, I kind of just pointed to it, but uh, <laughs> anyways. Um, and no, Willy Wonka and uh, Baby Root are not included. They're just part of my background. So, alright, so here we go. My number five favorite is Big Daddy from Bioshock. Um, why? I mean, it's Big Daddy. <laughs> it's just awesome I mean just look at this thing I mean they did a great job on this and you wouldn't I mean out of all the pops I own I, I mean honestly this one looks the least like a pop like you would think oh wait this is just like this is like a big daddy like is this just a uh, you know you didn't think Funko would have made this but I mean no it does look like a Funko product but it doesn't look like a pop per se I guess if that makes any sense I don't know it's just it's just really awesome I mean the fact that it's the big daddy mainly I mean that's why he's you know I re really love it Bioshock is my favorite game series ever. Um, Bioshock 1 is probably my favorite game ever, to be honest. So, yeah, just really, really nice. Um, awesome. It's just They just really captured it very well and translated it to a pop very well. So, yeah, that would be my number five would be Big Daddy. And number four would be Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Um... I don't know. It's just, same with the Big Daddy. They really captured Harley Quinn very well. They got pretty much all the main details right. Rotten, little star, or heart tattoo. Tattoos on her legs. The outfit, you know, the baseball bat. It says goodnight on it. It's got the little stand too, which is nice. The hair looks good. It's just very cool to look at. I mean, yeah, like I said, they captured her very well. So, um, my only kind of complaint is that, like, this is very loose. I mean, at least on mine. It's very, like, loose right here with the head and the body. See, like, look, it droops down. I think maybe a lot of them are like that because she's so, like, top-heavy with the hair. So, I don't know. But it's still very nice. It's very cool. Uh, oh, this is going to be a pain. There we go. Never mind. Not a pain. <laughs> so, yeah, and I like posing her like that. So, very nice. Harley Quinn. And back, too, has detail. So, yeah, they captured her very well from the movie. And for those of you wondering, um, my stop motion series Funko Street. Um, and yes, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. I have a stop motion series. Um, I think it's very nice, uh, a very good show. But uh, I'm currently working on season three. So f the the lack of uploads recently, like I know I haven't been uploading a lot, <laughs> mainly because of school and work. But uh, I have been working on season three. It will be out in October. I'm shooting for October. I hope. I'm writing all the episodes right now. I haven't tried anything yet, but uh, trust me, you're going to really love season three. <laughs> uh, I'll just say that right now. I think it's going to be the best season. So, better than the first two at least. Uh, so, yeah. Um, at number three, we have uh, the dude from The Big Lebowski, Jeffrey Lebowski. And, you know, kind of the same with Big Daddy. Uh, Big Lebowski is one of my all-time favorite movies. This is in my top five. The fact that they just made the this just like captures the essence of the dude so much. Like he's you know he's got his uh, white Russian. He's got his glasses on. He's got his you know shoes and he's just dressed. He's always dressed like this in the movie. It's hilarious. It's just I just love how this looks. He's just like he's just, he's like yeah he's just vibing. You know what I mean? <laughs> he's just chilling. So I don't know. I just really love how this looks. Um, I kind of regret not buying Walter from uh, Big Lebowski because I, I, I believe I bought this in Books a Million, which is like a bookstore, obviously. <laughs> um, and I think they had Walter with them, like in the store. But apparently, Walter's like rare now; like he's hard to find, and he costs a lot online. I think so. I should have bought him, but I, I thought no, I'll just buy the dude. I didn't think I would be. This was like back when I only had a few of these guys. I didn't think I would like be a big collector on the pops, so I should have did it. But it's whatever. Because I know they made a few other characters. They, they made, uh, you know, they made Maude Lebowski. They made the dude. They made uh, the Jesus. <laughs> then they made uh, Steve Buscemi's character. Uh, Donnie. There you go. <laughs> Don't think I'll forget that. But uh, yeah, so very nice. He just looks very, very good. They captured him very well. So awesome. All right. And then my number two pick would be Ash Williams from. This is from Army of Darkness. 
But uh, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, of course, Asher's Evil Dead. So yeah, I, I don't know, it's just, I just love how this looks. Like, he's got the chainsaw pointed out, he's got the shotgun pointed down, his shirt's ripped, he's got a little cut on his face, his little eyebrows, you know. And this was actually one of the first pops I ever did get, so... Yeah, one one of the, the that's another reason why I really like this. I was, when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh wow, look at this!" Because um, I think the first time I bought pops, I didn't know about them. Like I had no idea. It was back in 2014. Um, I I think they were fairly popular, but I did I'd never heard of them. Like I was at a comic book store and I saw them. I was like, "Whoa, what are these things?" And yeah, my friend was like, "Yeah, dude, you haven't seen these? These are popular." I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and then I saw Ash. I was like, "Whoa, that's they have Ash! Oh my God, they made Ash! I want that." <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just really cool. I like it. Like the little, you know, the red, the blue, you know, it's nice colors. Just looks awesome. You see his hair kind of down there. So, yeah, very nice. Captured Ash very well. And obviously, my number one is the one I have not picked yet, and he's in the middle. And that is Travis Bickle from Taxi Driver. Um, besides the fact that Taxi Driver is one of the best movies ever made, it's my number three favorite movie of all time. Used to be number one, actually. Um, but that's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, if it was my number one. That's a good thing. Um, this pop is just awesome. I mean, and I always talk about this too whenever I'm like talking about this pop is he has articulation. Look at that. His arms move. <laughs> Seriously, I don't think... Did they ever make any pops that articulate? I, I need someone to answer that for me because I have not seen any other ones that do. My sister owns a bunch of pops. So none of hers do this. All the other ones I own, none of them do this. <laughs> so, yeah, he has arm articulation. And he can point his gun. And he is the main character in my stop motion for a reason. He can do this. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. And he just looks good with the mohawk, the glasses, the shirt. And it even says, we are the people. You know, from uh, Palantine's campaign in the movie. So, yeah. Just awesome. Travis Bickle, man. Great. I love this thing. And I didn't know they made it either until, like, maybe a month or two after they released it. And I saw it randomly on, like, their inst Funko's Instagram, I think. And I was like, whoa, they made Travis Bickle. I need to order that. And I went on Hot Topic and ordered it right away. So, yeah. Um, just great. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, all right. Let me know what you guys think um, of these guys. If I chose good, you know, good choices. Uh, what you guys' favorites are, you can let me know. So, yeah. And if you'd like, you can check out my top five favorite steelbooks and top five favorite metal packs. I did that right before this. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And have a funk-tastic day. Wow, that was really bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, have a good one.